Hey boys and girls, today we are going to be making this beautiful dandelion picture. So to get started, you're gonna get a sheet of white construction paper as well as some oil pastels. You wanna hold your construction paper portrait style so it's longer up and down than it is side to side. I've already put my oil pastels in order, so we're gonna go from top to bottom, blue, purple, pink, orange, yellow, green, and we're gonna be blending the colors in between. When you use your oil pastel, it's important that you are going up and down and not side to side or creating like a square with it. So when I start with the blue, I'm gonna start at the top here and I'm gonna press hard so that way I can color in all of this space. So I'm going off of the paper to make sure I get the edges and I'm gonna do a layer, just about an inch that I'm pressing really, really hard with. So it's, it's dark and it's coloring in every bit of white space. Now, after I have an inch where I've pressed hard, I'm going to press gently for the next layer and I'm gonna do about the same length, okay? And I'm still going up and down, but this time I'm pressing pretty light. And I'm gonna do one whole layer of blue here. And after I'm done with this, over top of this blue, I'm gonna get purple and I'm gonna press hard with the purple to blend in with the blue here so that it kind of blends together. You guys see how that's blending? And then I'm gonna do a layer of dark purple here where I'm pressing hard. And then I'm gonna do a layer of light purple where I'm pressing gently. Okay, so I'm just recreating the exact same steps that I did with the blue with the purple, but in this area here, I'm blending. It's also always a good idea to go back with that first color and just kind of blend again where they meet just so that way it just gives it a more smooth and gradual look. Um, and sometimes the colors will cover up other colors. Like I know this pink will probably cover up a lot of the purple here. So what I'll do after I'm done with doing a layer of pink is I'll go back with the purple and just kind of blend over top of the pink here just to make it um, blend a little bit better. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing, blending here, a dark layer underneath, and then a light layer underneath of that all the way across. All right, so again, I've gone back. I've added a little bit of purple over top of where I blended the pink and purple together. And then I'm just gonna continue. So I'm gonna go in order, orange, yellow, and then green. And I'm gonna fill up my entire paper using this exact same steps. All right, so I finished my entire background. I've also brushed off um, the leftover crumbs because these will get messy, especially when you're coloring this dark with them. So you wanna make sure that you you know clean off your paper by just kind of brushing off the crumbs from the oil pastels. And we're gonna start with our grass. So you're gonna get your paintbrush and some green paint, and you're gonna uh, paint some blades of grass. So what I'm gonna do is start at the bottom, and I'm just gonna kind of wisp up with the green. And this is how we're gonna do our blades of grass. So I'm gonna do this all across the bottom of my page over top of that green. And I'm not really worried if it's going into the yellow um, or if it's a little below that green line, it doesn't really matter. Um, I just wanna make sure I'm starting at the bottom and wisping up so they go from thicker lines to thinner lines at the top. Now, because we are doing this you know, during the time of day where it's either sunrise or sunset, it's not super bright out. There's gonna be some shadows on the grass. So we're actually gonna use some blue to create some shadow. I'm not even washing my brush here. I'm just adding it right over top of the green and I'm using it in the same way that I did with the green. So I'm starting at the bottom and just kind of wisping up just like that. Okay, so I'm gonna fill up again that whole space with the blue. Now, before we start adding in our stems, we're gonna actually use the back of our paintbrush, the handle here, dip it in some white paint and just kind of place a dot where you want your flower. So like where the center of each flower will be. So I'm gonna imagine that I'm gonna, you know, make this flower a lot bigger than just that little dot. But this way I have an idea of where I need to put my stems so that I don't have, um, you know, flowers overlapping or I leaving like a ton of empty space. So I'm just kind of putting them, you know, so that they're different heights. So I have a lower one, some in the middle, some towards the top, just like that. And you're gonna put about four or five, um, maybe even less if you decide to do really giant flowers, but I would say four or five would probably be good. After you have those down, you're gonna go back to your green paint and you're gonna just add in a stem. So I'm going from the grass and I'm gonna paint like a curved line that goes up just about to where that white dot is, but doesn't exactly touch. 
Okay, so I'll just darken this up. So I'm gonna do green lines first, and then I'm gonna go back with the blue, just like I did with the blades of grass. All right, now we're ready to finish the flowers. So again, you're gonna be using the end of your paintbrush, the handle, and you're gonna dip it in the white paint, and all you're gonna do is just put a bunch of dots down in a circle, okay? So you can go over top of that stem just a little bit because you wanna make it appear you know that that it's not floating on top of the stem but that it's connected in the middle and you're just going to fill up a lot of white dots in a circle around each one of these flowers after you're done with that you're going to get some yellow paint now this is actually yellow and white mixed together because my yellow it tends to be a little bit see-through so when I add the white in there um, it just kind of brightens it up and lightens it up for the picture and you're gonna do exactly the same thing just kind of placing in these little yellow dots um, in a circle you know over top all around in between wherever they end up going just making sure that you're staying in a circle with these flowers and you can always add in some little seeds that have kind of whisked away by the wind but just by adding a few extra dots kind of randomly. Um, and then this is optional, but you can also add in some pink just to kind of brighten it up. The reason that um, pink is also an option, even though these flowers are pretty much um, white and yellow, is because of the time of day that we are making this picture at. Um, so as you can see, there's a lot of pink in the background um, as well as some orange. So what will happen a lot of times is that will kind of um, show through on things that are white, like these flowers. So. I like to add in some pink. I think it just kind of brightens it up. Um, you don't want to add a ton, just a little bit, just like as if the light was kind of just reflecting off of it, just adding in a little bit of a shadow. So I hope you guys like this. I think they're absolutely beautiful. Um, I can't wait to see them. Have fun.